This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add in water to your Unreal 5 game. Now, you've probably seen how the water system is really awesome in Unreal 5, and I'm gonna show you very quickly how to do it. Now keep in mind, it is a quick tutorial, so it does take a lot of time to craft something really good, but nevertheless, I'm gonna show you how to do it. And all I ask for that in return is that you like and subscribe. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go into the plugins here. You need to type in water. Okay, and then you need to enable that and it should ask you to restart it. One thing I should mention about this process is that it will take a lot of time to not only one, restart everything, but two, load the shaders. It took about 20 minutes for me to load the shaders and I have a half decent computer. Nevertheless, let's go ahead, let's add in a terrain here. It really doesn't matter what the terrain is. The only thing that you need to make sure is there's this one little thing here that says edit, edit, edit layers. That needs to be checked. If it, does, if it, if it doesn't get checked, this will not work. So let's go ahead and let's create that here. We have a nice looking terrain here, okay? Next thing we need to do is we need to go into create and we're gonna go into the place actors panel. Next up, after you've resetted or restarted Unreal from the plugins, we need to add in a body of ocean. You basically just drag it on there and look at that. It's pretty much that simple. Now, if it doesn't look like this, it means that you haven't added in the editable layers. It took me a little bit longer than I'd like to admit to figure that out, right? So you can take a look at these here and you can move them to any which way you want. You can also uh, take a look at these here um, and you can move your island in whichever way you want. So if you quickly play this here, you'll see that, you know, indeed, uh, the water does work. Now, what's really cool is that you can actually go into the water and this was not present in the last version of Unreal, but nevertheless, you can now go in the water. And I think that is absolutely amazing like that. Okay, but let's go back up here and uh, let's add in the other two items here. So if we wanted to, and this is actually pretty big, so I'm just going to move this over a bit too much here. And there you go. And maybe this guy can come back here. Okay. All right. Next up, let's add in the lake. And you'll notice that the topography of the lake does work as well. And you can move around that lake, whatever you will, in whichever way you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly move this lake up here like this. It really doesn't matter for this particular tutorial, but essentially that's what it is, right? You can go ahead and add the lake here. And last but not least, we have the river. And so I'm just gonna drag that out here and look at that. And of course, whenever you pull out the river, um, you can move any one of these segments here. Very easy stuff, not too complicated. But if, you're, if your river's kind of rotated in the wrong way, um, you, can, you can make sure that um, you, know, you just move everything towards the water here. Now let's go ahead and let's quickly take a look at this because there's a couple things that we should probably mention here. So first things first, you can go obviously into the lake, makes sense, and you can go into the river. Now you can see here that the mesh was not deformed correctly here, and it's little things like this that you want to make sure that your, uh, uh, your game doesn't have here, so you can actually move that over here. And you can see that the river kind of starts at the end of the lake, and believe it or not, that does kind of mimic nature here. And you can see that this doesn't fully go into the ocean and you can kind of make, just move that over here. There we go. Kind of move that into the ocean here because oh, rivers do add in a little bit of sediment here. And, and of course, if I had a little more time, I would absolutely do that here. But you can see that the river looks pretty good and then the lake also looks good too. And that is basically how you add in water in Unreal. It's pretty basic and pretty simple, and it's very, very easy. I remember I wanted to do this a long time ago, and it wouldn't let me here. But actually, this is maybe a bit too far. I'm just going to bring that back in here, right? And you can actually move it up as well, um, which I think is kind of neat, just in case you want like a deeper river or whatnot. Nevertheless, there, there it is. That's how you add in water here. And of course, if you want to add in materials, 
you, you're more than welcome to the ground. You're more than welcome to do that. All right. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was helpful. Please be sure to like and subscribe and share this video specifically on Reddit. As of now, this video, this channel is not monetized. It'd really help us out if you got us to 4,000 watched hours and a thousand subscribers. So like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, you can buy our content down below. It really does help us out when you buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this channel, you could subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every single month. We release everything from Adobe tutorials to 3D modeling tutorials to game development tutorials to machine learning tutorials to web development tutorials and more. We're constantly pushing the bounds in e-learning and if we can get to 10,000 paid subscribers per month, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.